Hey, what's going on guys? So today I have a random video. We're gonna be making a tea bag rocket. Now I know a select few of you are thinking that's something you would do drunk in college to your buddy, but no, you're wrong. <laughs> this is quite literally a tea bag that turns into a rocket. Now ideally you wouldn't be doing this outside on a windy day because the tea bag itself is very light and delicate and any kind of wind is no good. Uh, so I might end up having to finish this video off inside. We'll see. But the first thing you need obviously is a tea bag. All right, doesn't matter the flavor of the tea, we're dumping it out. But you need a traditional tea bag. So we're gonna go ahead and take the tea bag out. All right, we're going to make a cut right across the top, a square cut. All right, so this is a regular old tea bag. I know sometimes you get fancy ones with all kinds of different shapes. Not gonna use those. We're doing a square cut right at the shoulder here. All right, so see how these are folded in? So you're doing a cut from here right across. All right, we do that on top of here. Just straight across, just like that. Now, as far as the tea, doesn't matter. We're dumping it out. We just want the tea bag. Let's get rid of this garbage. All right, so we have our tea bag, which essentially is now just a rectangle. We're going to open it up, all right? And we're gonna fold it the opposite way. So you see how it's creased on both sides? You wanna fold it in just like that once. This way, when you open it back up, it stays like a tube, okay? All right, we're gonna rest that on a table or a flat area. All right, let's sit it upright. And again, this is where the no wind comes in. And then we're gonna light the top. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna burn down and with science, when it gets down to the bottom because of heat and energy and who knows what, uh, it's going to take off like a rocket. It's going to go like that. <laughs> so all we're going to do is I'm going to make sure this is upright. All right. Grab my lighter. So you have to wait for the wind. All right. So I'm off the tripod here so we could follow it. All you want to do is light the end. Once it gets to the bottom. Oh, no, no. Okay. Take two. Hopefully the wind stays away for just a moment. And there it goes. Whoopee. <laughs> and it completely burns. So there's no uh, chance of it, you know, flying somewhere else and uh, catching anything on fire. But uh, you guys can't. I'm watching it, but I'm sure there's no way I can even focus into it. But yeah. Well, maybe because they're floating around there. Like I said, it's just a little ash puff. But so what happens is, by uh, some kind of scientific method, which maybe you guys can explain to me because I don't really know. But as it's burning down, uh, all the heat and energy that's created on the bottom pushes it up because it's so lightweight, and it literally shoots up like a rocket, and it just burns itself. And then it's just a little, little bit of a little chunk of ash that kind of floats around. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I know it's kind of random, but uh, you never know what I'm going to post. So I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video, and no one knows what it's going to be. Not even me yet. I'll figure that out tomorrow. Take it easy.